What's up guys, it's Josh back with another video and I got two questions for you. Are you using illegally activated Windows software? And then also on that illegal software, are you storing your cryptocurrency wallets? Because you may be in trouble. So as I stated in the intro of the video, I want to cover an article that was actually sent to me by a friend of mine that I used to work with. He actually subscribed to the channel and watches the type of content I do. And he sent me this article because he wanted me to share it with my audience. And I thought it was rather interesting that he sent it to me. I'm not a Windows user. As you guys know, I'm a Linux user, so I kind of try to cover only Linux content, but I occasionally throw in Windows videos, especially if it can help people that use Windows. I know it's a lot, a lot more people that use Windows software on a day to day basis, as well as Mac OS. And so this article uh, kind of applied to you guys, especially those that are stealing software or using illegally activated Windows software. And then also your cryptocurrency wallets, if they're stored on an illegally activated version of Windows, then you could potentially have your cryptocurrency stolen from you. So let's go over to the article so I can show you guys what I'm talking about. So this article is on Hacker News. This is one of the websites that I frequent a lot just to see what's going on in the cyber world as well as the hacker world. But as you can see by the title of this article, it says malicious KMS Pico Windows activators stealing users cryptocurrency wallets. And I know a lot of people are hopping into the cryptocurrency market and playing around with it, but don't really understand everything about cryptocurrency. So I kind of wanted to cover this to protect those that are new to cryptocurrency as well as storing wallets on your system because this will affect you if you're using illegally activated software. Now this article was released December 6, 2021, so about a week ago from now, and it was written by Ravia Lakishmanan, and I, I'm sorry I messed up your last name, but shout out to you for this article. It's a very excellent article. I already read it, but I want to read it to you guys. And it's a very short article, so it don't, won't take me long. But the first you know, paragraph states that users looking to activate Windows without using a digital license or a product key or being targeted by tainted installers to deploy malware design to plunder credentials and other information in cryptocurrency wallets. Now, this is an interesting article. Like I stated, uh, it's going, it looks like they're going after cryptocurrency wallets and other credentials. And I just mainly wanted to make this video as awareness of what's actually going on because this will affect a lot of new users that are getting into cryptocurrency as well as those using this illegal activator on their system. And I know a lot of people are still using these activators, which kind of baffles me because I've heard for years that these things are either loaded with malware or some type of virus that can infect your computer, steal credentials and all that stuff. But the interesting thing about this one is going after cryptocurrency wallets. But let's go down and read a little more about it. It says the malware dubbed CryptBot is an information stealer capable of obtaining credentials for browsers, cryptocurrency wallets, browser cookies, credit cards, and capturing screenshots from the infected system. And it says deployed via cracked software, the latest attack involves the malware masquerading as KMS Pico. And so that's interesting. It doesn't only just go after your crypto wallets or cryptocurrency wallets. It also goes after your browser cookies, credit cards, as well as other credentials within the browser. So if you store a lot of your credentials within your Chrome browser or whatever browser that you use on a day-to-day -day basis, and I know that's a convenience thing, because if you're using complex passwords, it's kind of hard to remember all of them. So a lot of people are use the browser to manage all their credentials, which is really not a good idea because of issues like this. 
Now let's scroll down a little further because I wanted to read a little more, but it says KMS Pico is an unofficial tool that's used to illicitly activate the full features of pirated copies of software such as Microsoft Windows and Office Suite without actually owning a license key. Now I know, I know it's a lot of people that live overseas. This is where the problem will occur the most in my opinion because a lot of pirated software is actually used overseas. I would say majority of it is actually used overseas based on what I've seen, but there are some people in the US that still use these pirated software because they don't want to pay or they don't have the money or it's too expensive or they don't want to support windows in any way so they use activated software because they need it for let's say a job or something to that effect well i just want to reiterate to you guys that it's important that you do not use these activators and be very careful when playing around with this type of software especially since it's unofficial and if we look right here there's an image of someone actually searching for kms pico uh, and there's the activator right there and it says it is a total virus and malware free tool, but can you really trust that? I wouldn't, <laughs> but it says the users become infected by clicking one of the malicious links and downloading either KMS Pico, Cryptbot, or another malware without KMS Pico. It says Red Cannery research researcher Tom Lambert said in a report published last week, the adversaries install KMS Pico also because that is what the victim expects to happen, which simultaneously deploying Cryptbot behind the scenes. And that's typically how malware works. It appears that it's installing exactly what you want it to install, but in the background, it could be a bash script or anything like that. It's running and installing Cryptbot onto your system. And so as soon as you activate your freshly installed version of Windows, it's loaded with malware from Cryptbot <laughs> because you wanted to activate it illegally. Now, if we read a little more, it says the American uh, cybersecurity firm said is also observed several IT departments using the illegitimate software instead of valid Microsoft licenses to activate systems, adding the altered cam as Pico installer or distributed via a number of websites that claim to be offering the official version of the activator. And it's funny to actually read that because I've worked for a company and this was many, many years ago that was using illegal software. So the company wouldn't bear the expense of paying Microsoft for a whole bunch of licensed computers on their network. Now this was Windows 10, this was back in the day. This was when illegal software was kind of <laughs> ran rampant. But back then it was always rumors going around that a lot of this, that a lot of these activators had viruses within them. So that has, that has always been a problem when it comes to these activators because someone is actually putting this together and you don't know who it is and they can put whatever they want within that activator and you trust it and you install it and you have malware on your system but it says this is far from the first time crack software has emerged as a conduit for deploying malware in june 2021 check cybersecurity software company avast disclosed a campaign dubbed Krakenet Krakenoosh, which I remember when that actually came out. And let's read a little more, uh, but it says the that involved uh, distributing illegal copies of popular software to break into and abuse the compromised machines to mine cryptocurrency, netting the attacker over 2 million in profits. And I remember when this actually happened, the Krakenoosh uh, software or whatever was installed on your system. And really what they were trying to do is get your hardware because that's one of the things that you need in order to mine cryptocurrency. You basically need a bunch of processing power. And if you can create something that will allow you to use other people's processing power all over the world, then yeah, you can make a whole lot of money mining cryptocurrency. But anyway, I wanna reiterate again, 
it is very important that you don't use any of this cracked software because you can end up with viruses and this has been going around for years i've talked to people that have had like adobe cracked software you know with an activator you don't know what these people are putting in these activators so it's important you don't use them you know what i'm saying or you can possibly move to linux where most of the software is 100 free and open source and you guys know i had to throw that in there but i hope you guys have a good night and of course keep the techie